Welcome. Today we will be going through the letters F to J of the Olympiad Geometry Theorems Collection A to Z. Hope you like this video. So first up we have the Finsler Hordogger Theorem. This states that if E is the midpoint of B prime D and G is the midpoint of D prime B and F and H are the centres of the squares shown, then EF GH is a square. We can use this fact uh, in many proofs, for example, proofs where we need to find sides of the same length, angles of a certain size, and perpendicular lines of some sort. Next up, we have the geometric mean theorem. There's two parts to this. The altitude rule, which is AD squared equals BD multiplied by DC, and the leg rule, which is AC squared equals CD multiplied by CB, or AB squared equals BD multiplied by BC. Knowing these rules can uh, provide a shortcut to Pythagoras' theorem when finding the side lengths of certain triangles. Next, we have Heron's formula. And we can use Heron's formula to find the area of a triangle to be the square root of the semi-perimeter of the triangle multiplied by the difference between the semi-perimeter and all the side lengths in turn. If we look at the example shown, we have the semi-perimeter being 8 plus 10 plus 12 divided by 2 being 30 divided by 2 or 15. And so the area is the square root of 15 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 3, or 15 multiplied by the square root of 7. I have also attached a BMO problem down below, which has a very nice solution, including Heron's formula. It might be interesting for you to try and solve. Let me know in the comments if you manage to solve it using Heron's formula. Next, we have the intersecting course theorem. So here we know that angle A equals angle B. Why? Well, because angles in the same segment are equal and the common segment here is DC. Similarly, we find angle C is angle D. Then we have two triangles. APD and PBC with all their angles being the same. We have APD being BPD, angle PAD being PBC, and angle ADP being PCB. So then we have AP divided by PD equals BP divided by PC. From this, we can find AP multiplied by PC equals BP multiplied by PD. An example, AC is the diameter of the circle with radius of 4. The distance from P to the centre of the circle is 2. What is the length of DP? I'll pause here if you want to try and solve the problem. Okay, so PC equals the radius multiplied by uh, the distance P to the centre, which is 4 plus 2, which is 6. AP equals 2. So DP multiplied by BP equals 2 multiplied by 6, which is 12. And now we also know that the diameter bisects the chord BD because... APD is 90 degrees, and so we have DP equals BP, and so DP equals the square root of 12. Finally, we have the Japanese theorem for cyclic quadrilaterals. So let there be a cyclic polygon, and no matter how we triangulate it, the sum of the in radii 
of the n-circles will always be a constant. We also know that the converse is true. And the converse of this fact could be very useful in proving the cyclicality of a polygon. Because if we know that the sum of the inradii is independent to the triangulation of the polygon, the polygon is cyclical. And we can also use the fact that the inradii equals the area of the triangle multiplied by its semi-perimeter to help us do this. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below. Goodbye.